Hello and welcome back to Channel 4 News. As you may have noticed, the TPP and everything that has to do with it is a common topic of conversation nowadays, and even in schools all around the country, it's being taught and explained. Our team visited Pine View High School and this is what their international relations class looked like. The TPP is a trade agreement originally signed by 12 countries, which aims to strengthen economic relations between these nations, reducing tariff and non-tariff barriers, enhancing transparency in trade rules and opening access to more markets, fostering trade and boosting growth. Maria, it sounds like a pretty good agreement, doesn't it? But it seems our president didn't agree, since every party had to approve it in order for it to come into effect. But before this could happen, President Trump removed the USA from the process. Why is China not mentioned in the countries conformed in the agreement? Well, it was actually a deliberate act. Since the TPP is also meant for balancing trade dominance of both China and India in East Asia. And either way, China is not really prepared to meet the high standards of free trade investment stated in the TPP. So they are not going to be included at all? Actually, both of them have shown interest in joining the agreement later on. Since we are the number one news channel in America, we have footage of the negotiation table of the agreement, which you will probably want to see in order to understand the ups and downs of the agreement. This agreement will most definitely boost trade. It will create jobs. The living standards of the countries involved will improve. It is expected that competitive firms will move into new markets since trade and investment barriers will lower. Workers will be hired at greater wages. The range of quality of goods and services available to households and firms will improve. Prices will be cut down. The TPP will hurt American workers and undercut U.S. companies. Working families will be endangered as well as the environment and the freedom of the Internet. Our economy leverage will be given to an international commission that will put the interests of foreign countries above our own. Our workers will have to compete directly against workers from Vietnam, one of the lowest wage countries on earth. Our economy and our independence will be undetermined. Maria, they are supposed to be talking about the pros of the agreement, but you know how he gets. Yes, Elisa, I think we all know. <laughs> but we have to take into account the President Trump reaction is not a surprise for us, since back in the presidential campaign, he claimed that the TPP would only worsen the American economy like NAFTA did, which have cost the US millions of jobs, and it will be no different with the TPP and any multilateral agreement. Yes, that's true. And actually, during the presidential elections, the TPP was subject of big controversy, with candidates from both parties being for and against it. Trump wasn't the only one of the candidates at the elections who rejected the deal. Actually, Clinton and Sanders rejected the deal too. Well, that would be the first thing they agree with, don't they? <laughs> Even after Trump's withdrawal from the TPP, Senator Bernie Sanders praised his decision, taking into account that he has been a major critic of the president since the beginning. These types of agreements are bad for American workers, costing them jobs and decreasing their wages. I am able to work with President Trump if helping American workers is a serious deal for him. As we mentioned earlier, China was not included in DTPP, but this was no obstacle for them not to gather together with other countries to reach a free trade agreement. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations are working on establishing a different free trade agreement named the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, constituted by 16 different members. We have been working on it since 2011, and with the future of the TPP looking grim, it looks like the RCEP will have a bright future. Let's see what countries conform the RCEP. Is there a mistake, or is the US not included? You know karma works its ways. <laughs> But we must tell you that apparently hopes for the TPP are not over just yet. We are not about to walk away from our commitment to Australian jobs. Losing the U.S. from the TPP is a big loss, but we must move forward. 
the US is a huge asset for the agreement to work, and I firmly believe that by persisting and persuasion, the US with facts and strategic and economic benefits, they will rejoin. We are willing to continue even without the US on board. We understand the loss we are facing, but we are also willing to move forward. It has also been brought up to our attention that Canada, Mexico and Malaysia have been talking about continuing with the agreement. Elisa, do you think the TPP will eventually survive? I don't really know just yet. If you're as curious as we are, turn into our channel at 7pm from Monday to Friday. Have a great night!